Well, a man accused of shooting and killing a man outside the Westwood Walmart store on Black Friday is now in custody. Yeah, surveillance video showed the gunman coming up behind 24-year-old Jamonte Brown and shooting him in the head. And tonight, WLWT News Fox Jatera McGee is live at the police headquarters where the sus suspected gunman turned himself in, Jatera. And Ashley and Steven, it's happening right now. We're at CPD District 1 headquarters. Josiah Hassel is right here turning himself in. He's 26 years old and is accused in this murder, although his attorney says he is not the man caught on surveillance video in this execution style murder. You'll remember this happened outside of Walmart several months ago back in November. Police released surveillance video just a couple of weeks ago showing a very uh, tough murder to watch on camera, although his attorney says he's not the man on camera. He's turning himself in because he has a warrant out for his arrest. I can tell you after speaking with Jamonte Brown's family several weeks ago that they are obviously still having a tough time. He has two small children that are now growing up without him. And uh, this is the murder that Josiah Hassel is wanted for, but his attorney says he is not the man who did it. He is only turning himself in because he has that warrant. We're going to stay on top of this, talk to him a little bit more, and everything that he has to say, we'll bring that to you at 11 as well on WNWT. Reporting live, Jatera McGee, WNWT News 5. Jatera, now I know his attorney says that he is not the man seen in the video of the shooting. Anything else from his attorney today? He's saying the reason it took so long to turn himself in, as you might remember, this man was indicted on murder charges several weeks ago. He said it took so long to turn himself in because he was trying to get the money to have proper representation. His family wanted to make sure he didn't just have a public defender and he's now being taken back to the back by a Cincinnati police officer that you're seeing. Okay, I'll see you all of this happening in real time, guys. He says the reason it took him so long is because his family wanted to make sure he had proper representation and would not have a public defender. We're going to check in and see if his attorney has anything else to say, and I'll give you guys the latest at 11. All right, that is Jatera McGee reporting live for us. Actually, I don't know if he, if we can go back to Jatera's side, I don't know if he's answering a question. Murder. The family told me this months ago. I told them what my fee would be. They had to procure the fee. It took them months to do it. What was the conversation like in the car? Did he talk with you about how these last few minutes before uh, being I tried taken to in? put him at ease. He's nervous. He's a young man. He's a virgin to the criminal justice system. He has no criminal record. And now he's facing a murder charge. So we just relaxed on our way to District 1. I picked him up, drove him here, and um, we didn't say much. We didn't talk about much, except for the fact that he needs to be quiet when the police try to come and talk to him after he's turned himself in. Other than that, not much else. And again, you said he was not hiding, right? Right. He was not hiding. He was just waiting to get funds. That's what you He was waiting for his family to procure funds to retain counsel. Again, this is a very aggressive, skillful prosecutor's office here in Hamilton County. If you turn yourself into the Hamilton County criminal justice system on a murder charge without retained counsel, you will get chewed up and spit out, and the family knows that, anybody in this city knows that. So you need to have counsel, and they wanted to procure counsel to protect his rights as a defendant accused of murder. It's that simple. The same thing you would do if you was charged with murder. You just wouldn't turn yourself in without counsel. Your family or you as an individual, you'd get a lawyer, wouldn't you? That's all he did. That doesn't mean you're guilty of anything. That means you're trying to face the charges with counsel. And it took time for him to do it. It's going to be a tough case from your perspective. And it's a lot of it's a lot of tough cases. You got the videos there, but to me, the video again, it's impressive because you have a, a video recording of somebody being executed or shot close range staff. So it's impressive, but it's not conclusive as to who actually did it or why he did it. So it doesn't prove beyond reasonable doubt that anybody did anything. It proves beyond a reasonable doubt that somebody was shot and killed. That's half of the issue, not all of it. There was enough evidence for the grand jury to indict your client. Why do you think that is if he's not the one who did it? Because in a grand jury, you have a prosecutor that stands before 12 to 15 people from the, the community, and he tells them his version of the story, and he puts on his evidence, and 99% of the time they're going to indict. It takes nothing to be indicted. That means nothing. The law even says that. The law tells jurors just because somebody is indicted, it does not mean anything. You can't even consider it. So I'm, I'm not impressed at all with an indictment and the fact that he's been charged. That doesn't mean anything. When did the family reach out to you and ask for your services? It's been a while. It's been a while, a while, months ago.
Are you at all concerned that any of the family members are going to face charges for the time that he was wanted and he wasn't turned in? Not at all, because the family didn't do anything to harbor him. So, no, I'm not concerned about that. He was staying on his own? The family had no involvement with him after he was indicted. None whatsoever. And again, your client did not know the victim. That's what you're saying? No, not to my knowledge, no. To my knowledge, no. Have you asked him that? No. Was he at Walmart that day? No. Not to my knowledge. I think that's, that, that's about it. Okay. Thank you. Have a good one. All right, so that was attorney Clyde Bennett for the suspect, 24-year-old uh, Jamonte Brown, who just turned himself in for that very uh, public video and murder that we saw at a Walmart back in November. He's saying that his client was not the suspect or the person in the video. Absolutely, Taryn McGee was out there live uh, watching him uh, turn himself in. She's going to have a full report tonight at uh, 10 on MeTV and 11 right back here on WLWT.